Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. This video I'm going to be sharing a work essentially by author Message who has published article and source code on his GitHub on October 13, 2020. Essentially a brilliant solution that is serverless swagger UI for API gateway. So essentially when we make a serverless microservices often we need a swagger UI right? Uh this solution by the author is simply fantastic. The reason I say that the uh, so he the, the essentially using serverless framework to deploy api gateway lambda right after that essentially uh it is being generating a swagger ui essentially a beautiful ui which is essentially dumped on aws s3 that is uh, uh essentially ui is exposed via cloud front right and only authenticated user get access via cognito a oh, amazing solution and i can't uh, wait to share the details with you Here is the article full right and we'll go into the architecture in a second and here is the source code I'll leave the links of the author in the description so let's get started so the author uses serverless framework uh, so as you can see first I want to show what 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 the end and 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 stuff looks like a beautiful uh, swagger ui that you can you know try it out and behind the scene it's going to hit hit the api gateway as you can see uh, you can log out and this is uh, authenticated via cognito as you can see this is fantastic i mean it's just mind blowing i mean there's a lot lot of line of code has been done by him okay so fantastic work by him first of all uh so let's review or see what the author has done in a second and then i'll show you how to use it so serverless framework essentially generates and deploy microservices on api gateway lambda so it generates your microservices and then it generates a swagger ui it dumps the swagger ui uh, essentially it generates an index.html file it generates on an s3 and the s3 is essentially exposed via cloud front um, as soon as a user comes in uh, right uh, from a cloud front he is essentially Uh, redirected to the S3. Essentially, he sees a UI, right? Once he sees a UI, it, now it goes to Cognito for authentication. If the user is authenticated, he essentially is, uh, you know, redirected back to the Swagger UI, and then essentially when he makes or clicks button, it, the request goes to the API gateway. It's really fantastic solution. What I I uh, I would really you know uh, like to say that right? Uh, amazing serverless is he using serverless. Uh, S3 for hosting Swagger UI as it is cheap. Security is taken care because AWS Cognito is done. So fantastic, and he has written a lot of code as well. So what this allows us to do is, is essentially allows us to download this boilerplate and use it for our projects, right? So all you gotta do in order to use this template is uh, come here to his GitHub. This is the author, right? Um, great job to him. You know, first of all, great job. So come to here and click on clone. Okay, once you have cloned the repository, now uh, it's actually very easy. You don't have to get overwhelmed by looking the all the all the three hundred lines of code. All you gotta figure out is just this part here. This should be very self-explanatory. Function you name you provide a name of the function handler dot hello. So in your current directory there is a file called handler dot py and uh, in that you wanna invoke a function called you know hello. So in the handler. is the python file and in that uh, there is a method called hello right uh, here is saying http you define essentially your path so this says that this is a slash hello right uh, you could define course and all but here he is mocking the request of course you can remove this and you can actually call a lambda function here so all you got to do is essentially just define your logic here this part that's it once you define it here then the only change that uh, i uh, that you guys have to do here uh, in the source code is here in the project you got to change the project name once you check the change the project name then uh, on his uh, github he has described all the steps yarn install so you install do that once you have done that you, you just have to say yarn run deploy region and us east one us west two whatever you want to do So as you can see I did that it deployed the entire stack and you know then essentially I went into cognito so I came here to cognito I clicked on cre uh, create user right so I'm going to say master for now I'm just you know creating a master user so providing a password here default I click on create user right now head over to cloud front and if you refresh you will see a domain name uh it's a little hard to see but yeah domain name so come here and essentially uh, paste that on a window so as soon as you paste it uh, it will hit your cognito of course i am logged in so i'll log out first so now as you can see it hits the cognito 
and now I'll enter the password that I did. So now, so I'll say, Uh, so I authenticate, right? I change my username, password, and automatically I'm redirected to my Swagger UI, uh, where I can come here, hit my API, and you know, get the job done. So I would say fantastic, man. This is really amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for. So essentially, remember, whenever, uh, just give me a second while the web camera loads. Usually takes a second or two. All right, so what I'm trying to show is usually whenever you're trying to develop a solution, try to first Google and do a research. It is very unlikely that people have already done the work and they've already put in the efforts that's needed, right? As you can see in this situation, right? I was looking something for Swagger UI. Now people said there were different solutions. They were like, oh, you know what? You got to copy the Swagger 2.0 YML file then in, in import in Swagger Hub. So I wanted a complete serverless solution that just, you know, I write my stack and I say yarn, you know, whatever serverless deploy or yarn install or yarn, you know, whatever, as you can see, right? I wanted something like that. So I started researching, I started Googling and usually you come across several repository and then you try things out. If you try it out and it work, then just uh, mimic what you want to add inside that. In this case, I wanted security, so check. I wanted serverless solution, check. Then API gateway, Lambda and everything, check, check, check. So, you know, I tried it out and it worked and I, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me share with people. I'm sure a lot of people will be, oh, how do I do Swagger? How do I deploy this? How do I do that? So this will help people, right? So again, as I said, uh, this is the work done by the author. So uh, he has done a fantastic job. I'll leave his source code and uh, source code article here, betterdev.blog. Yeah, it, uh, in the description section below. So check him, check check that out. Uh, with that being said, guys, let's keep learning. Let's keep exploring. It's fun, right? So try this out. I would say my uh, advice is clone the repository, okay, f from his official GitHub. Then try it out. Clone it. Then do yarn install. Then you know run uh, yarn run deploy deploy it in a region. Try to add few API endpoints and see if it works. That's the way to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys next video.